Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. So I'm using a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I'm gonna use my paintbrush to paint the middle. And what I'm gonna then do is use some fluid paint to blow out the edges. You might have seen my blue version. This is my metallic version. So in the middle when I use my paint, I'm going to dampen the surface first. Now that's a tip. So a shout out to Bears Den Acrylic Art. Um, he reached out to me to say, did you know that if you dampen your, your canvas a little bit, the brush strokes become a little bit more smoother? So thank you so much for that tip. Um, go and check out his work. I'll, li I'll link his um, website down below as well because he's, he's very talented. So, so go and check him out. So I'm going to first of all do the base. Watch along with me and I hope you enjoy this one. So as I lay the paints on the edges, it's very much in a random order. I do take one colour at a time and I'm filling that white space. And the whole purpose of this is to fill that area with the fluid paint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to blow over some of the edges that I've already painted in the middle. But I'm going to create some movement and I want to create some depth to this piece. So I'm gonna blow all the paint in together and then kind of blow it out in one direction just to kind of help with that movement and that flow. You'll see what I mean as I approach this. But I really wanted to replicate the blue one that I'd done. And I'm kind of getting a Grand Canyon, Monument Valley kind of feel to this because of the colors that I've used and the places that I visited. If this reminds you of somewhere, I'd love to know where that is, so drop them in the comments below. My white paint is titanium white and there's no cell activator in there at all. I'm just using paint and water. I'm using paint and water for the whole piece. I'm adding a little bit of white because I want that to help break up some of those metallic colors. And my vision is when the sun kind of rises and the sun reflects off of the rocks that's the kind of reflection that I'm aiming for. So when I blow it out, I'm hoping that some of that white really kind of sparkles through. And as I'm blowing this out, I'm trying to almost keep kind of a steady line 
where I've painted the middle. But then I'm also creating the movement from that line upwards. I step back several times because what I'm doing is I'm really feeling the paint. I'm really feeling that movement as it glides across the canvas when I'm using my blow dryer. And as I'm blowing this out, I'm also really mindful of how much paint remains on that canvas. It's a steady balance, really, because the middle part is already dry and is almost like a, a, a thinner layer of paint because I've applied it by brush. And then the paint that I'm now blowing out is obviously more fluid, a little bit thicker than the paint that I've used with the paintbrush because I've managed to create such a thin layer. So what I need to be really mindful of is where those paint puddles remain on the canvas because as this dries I want this to dry consistently. The middle piece is already dry. I'm mindful that the edges, the fluid edges, will also need to dry and I don't want any cracking to appear. So what I do is when I'm blowing out the piece I'm blowing most of the paint off the canvas onto my table. I'm really happy with this, so let's go in for a close-up. You'll see here the perspective that I can see. And I really wanted to really mix those colours up on the edges. And I hope, and I hope you'll agree with me, that I've managed to create that movement I wanted. There's a stillness in the middle of the painting. And for me, that's about the peace and tranquility. And then on the edges, you've got my, more of the chaotic feeling, but I feel that, that it's a really good balance. I'll take you in for a dry look version. And here we are, hung up on my wall. It's not yet varnished because it still needs to cure and fully dry. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I love the tones that I've used. I really like that bit in the middle, it really kind of gives me some serenity feeling, so I'd love to see what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate all of your support, thank you for joining me week on week, it really really does mean a lot. And I hope you have a great week ahead, so take care of yourselves and I really hope to see you again soon. Bye!